everybody, it's Brandy with In The Park Manufactured Home Sales, and you are tuning in for our first episode of Neighbors In The Park, where we are going to interview our neighbors in our manufactured home parks in the Huntington Beach and Fountain Valley area, and talk about all of the really cool things that they're doing. Today we're here in Rancho La Siesta interviewing neighbor Clo, who is an amazing crafter and sells a lot of her things at some local craft shows. So we're going to interview her and talk about the things that she makes and show you some of her amazing crafts that you can buy if you like. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we are here with Clo. Clo is a neighbor in the Rancho La Fiesta Mobile Home Park, and she is an incredible crafter, as you can see from some of the things that we've shown you. Um, hi, Clo. Hi. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. Good. So we want to talk about all these incredible crafts that you make. How okay. long have you been crafting? All my life. All your life. <laughs> <laughs> what did you start with? What was the first things that you started crafting? Well, I started, I used to make all my clothes. Oh, very and cool. And then I did ceramics, and I did uh, all kinds of ceramics. In fact, I have some ducks over there that I did. These are ducks that I painted uh, by hand. Beautiful. When did you do those? These I did when I was married and lived in New York State. Wow. A long time ago. And uh, I decided I needed to do something uh, to, uh, I was a can I did canning and freezing and uh, I was really needed something for me besides that, and so I uh, decided to take up ceramics, and so I did all kinds of that. I did Christmas trees, I made pot belly stoves for my in-laws. Wow. And I made my, then my husband made them into lamps. And so I did all kinds of that, and I, then we moved to Arizona, and of course I be I was a nurse, and so I didn't have a lot of time for crafts then, because I worked full time. Mm. And so then when I moved to Arizona, moved to San Diego, I had two businesses. I had I worked full time, and then I also had C J Creations, which was a floral. Uh, business and then I did uh, wreaths and centerpieces and all that kind of thing and I made those to sell and uh, so I was very busy doing that. I also did silk floral weddings at that time and I was also Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. Oh my goodness. And at, at that time as well in addition to working full time as a nurse. Wow. And so I was a very busy person. And then I uh, made uh, gift baskets uh, for Mary Kay. So I was always busy doing something in the craft area. And then when I came here and uh, my friend, Nancy, 
she got me doing these uh, uh, crafts and the church that we attended uh, I've just always done crafts and uh, so that's just always been a part of me and what do you love about doing crafts it's relaxing yeah and uh, it, I'm creative mm -hmm. and so uh, my mind never stops okay <laughs> I'm just one of those I that, know how that goes <laughs> uh, I just uh, love being creative and uh, using my my brain I mm -hmm. guess and it keeps me alert keeps me cognitive and uh, gives me something to do keeps me uh, busy and I think that's important at our ages to keep us it keeps me positive mm -hmm. and um, joyful yeah. I mean really uh, I think that's important because I think at our ages we could become sedentary mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, but it gives me something to get up for in the morning and I think we need to have something to get up for in the morning and so uh, I look forward to getting up and having something to look forward to doing every day and I think that's very important I love that and uh, <laughs> so uh, I think that it's uh, a very positive thing what a wonderful me. message that you're spreading. And what would you uh, recommend to somebody who feels like they're not creative but wishes they could make things I like that? I think everybody, uh, I think that they need to try something. Mm -hmm. I think they need to uh, say if they think they can't do something, uh, I'd be more than happy to help them learn something. Oh. Uh, you know, if they they think they can't do something uh, they underestimate themselves because I think within ourselves we all have some creative ability and I think that uh, I would be more than happy to help anyone learn uh, if they would like to learn something and uh, I love to teach and uh, I'd be more than happy to help anyone because I do think that within each of us there's some creative ability and uh, I love that. I, I think that so many times uh, we give up on ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, we can't do that yeah and uh, well a lot of art too is um, I heard this from an artist that I had interviewed a few years ago where she said that um, art is about the process and what you learn about yourself and the world through the process of art it's not about the outcome and if you have a beautiful outcome that's wonderful but the whole point of doing the art to begin with was the process of, of doing it and what you get from exactly from the art exactly and it doesn't have to be perfect yeah yeah it doesn't no have art to is be perfect, perfect right no. <laughs> no it doesn't have to be perfect and uh, it's it's what you get out of it yeah and the uh, enjoyment the enjoyment from it and uh, the um, the idea that you can accomplish something through mm -hmm. it and uh, knowing that you can do something and uh, I think too often we give up on ourselves and our willing to say oh I can't do that mm -hmm. instead of saying I'd like to try that and uh, so uh, I love your perspective on that that's yeah. really cool I think everybody needs to try something I agree <laughs> yeah. okay well here's a couple of Christmas door hangers. I think we already saw a bunch of the fall ones, but I have a hundred Christmas ones as well. And then we also have angel, Santa, and snowman ones that are Christmas as well. And then we have a bunch of 
Christmas uh, ornaments. And then I'm in the process of doing uh, more Christmas ornaments. Okay. And uh, where do I, door hangers go? Door hangers go on a door. Is that for like the doorknob? A doorknob. Oh, okay. Or you can hang them anywhere. Okay. Wherever. Oh, so they have a little ring on the back of they them. They have to a hang. ring on the back. See. Cute. And you so you can hang them anywhere. Perfect. And they make great gifts. Uh, great gifts. What I'm about to, your... Um, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you? <laughs> and, you know, with the economy the way it is today, you know what? Great gifts. Inexpensive gifts. How much is a door hanger? These are $10. Wow. Handmade $10 door hangers? Yes. Incredible. And so I suggest you come to the boutique and purchase these because you're not going to find anything like this anywhere else for a wonderful gift you know even family and work your colleagues they need if you give gifts you're not going to find something like this in your brick and mortar okay so just to say <laughs> just just a little pitch there but anyway they're made with love also by the way that's for sure what about these beautiful fall things you have back there and then here here's another door hanger it's a different type this one's five dollars and what so tell cute. me where you're going to find a little five dollar uh gift and you can hang it even on your kitchen cupboard. Just a True. little pin of fall in yeah. there. Ring too. And then, look at this. Is that a real wine glass that you've painted? That's a wine glass. Oh I my painted goodness. it to look like a pumpkin. It's adorable. And, okay, so you're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving. Take them a gift. This is going to be nine fifty. Wow. And that lasts forever. And it lasts forever. Can you um, take her one of the pumpkin? Oh, she's got a, never mind. This a is a cup that is a centerpiece. This is going to be Eight fifty for this one. Beautiful. And it is, you know, if you need something small, maybe you're in an apartment. It's like Don't, a desk decoration for work. A decoration for your desk at work. Mm -hmm. You don't have a big spot to put something, but you want something to put. Just a little decoration. Here's another small one. This one's oh, ten fifty. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. And so they're not cute. large. No, they're not. They're good size. And another thing, I do not use uh, cheap stuff, even though I don't charge a lot. You know, to me, it's not... It's not what I use. It's the enjoyment I get out of it. And when I put my name on something, I'm not going to just use cheap stuff because I want quality with the things that I, that I make. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get quality with the things that I make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple of little centerpieces as well. The little pumpkins. And again, small. And these are nine fifty, and just small little things that you can set on your desk or in a small place at home, so that you can great gifts as well. Mm -hmm. uh, great gifts to take to someone if you're going to 
to a lunch or just want to give a friend a gift. Okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Again, nine fifty for these. And these are all going to be at the Fall Boutique. I also do wreaths. And here's a Christmas wreath that I do. $35 for a wreath. That's beautiful. And you do all seasons of wreaths, right? I can do all seasons of wreaths, yes. And do you make them, um, can you make them to order if somebody wanted something specific? I can make anything to order. Perfect. Wow. Here's a fall wreath. Wow, that's beautiful. These are $35. So beautiful. I love that. You're so talented. Thank you. <laughs> As I, and I do have business cards. Perfect. I and you can uh, get my name from Brandy, and I'm more than happy to make things to order. Here's here's okay. what this is. This is one craft room. This is one of my craft rooms. This is the craft room that I have for most of my uh, ornaments and that kind of thing that I have and then I have some things out in the shed I also do patriotic things uh, uh, this is my paper for my seasonal things and this is my seasonal room per pretty much and I make ornaments I don't know if you wanted to see some patriotic uh, things that would be awesome here's my everything's so organized and labeled well, if I didn't have it labeled, I'd be crazy. I can understand that. Well, let me show you this. This is different, and it's patriotic. Here's things that I made for patriotic. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love the fireworks coming off the side. That's so cute. Love it. Those are some of the patriotic things I make. I also make uh, door hangers for patriotic and ornaments for patriotic. Very cool. When you get up and start making things in the morning, or when you wake up and you're like, I'm going to craft today, do you know in your head what you're going to make? Or do you have a schedule of things that you make throughout the year? Or how do you decide what you're going to work on that well, day? Well, usually, usually it's... Um, Whatever season I'm working on. Oh, okay. Or if you have like a show coming up or something. Yeah. Right now it's Christmas. Now let's go. I'm going to make snowmen come into this room. Oh, this is a disaster right now. Um, but right now. Is this where the magic happens? This is one of them. <laughs> this is my card making room. And let's get this out of the way. So we uh, haven't even mentioned cards yet. No. But let's and finish with this, and then I'll show you the cards. Okay. This is what I'm doing right now. You wanted to watch me uh, in progress here. I can show you. Um, I'm making, I'm making <clears throat> ornaments, and this is what I do. Right now, I'm going to make. I guess the ornaments out there that it's going to be like but I have domes coming and this is going to be an ornament and it's going to be like this oh it's is that metal it, yes oh this, wow well this is a die oh this is a die cut and it cuts this oh wow okay I have that and then I have this one And these are going to be ornaments that I'm making. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a nativity set. As you seen. Very cool. And I'm going to double them. This little stuff here makes crazy. 
<laughs> it's kind of crazy after a while. Yeah. But um, I'm going to be doubling them like that. And I'm going to be making it sturdier inside so that I can stand it and put it inside. And then there'll be, I have half domes coming. And then I will put, uh, Denise, out on that table, there's a, on that, in the living room, there's a dome uh, ornament. Can you bring that in here and I'll show you what it's going to look like. And uh, it'll be an ornament and then I'll put like glitter. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll look like this. Oh. It, it'll look like this. Oh, that's so cute. And that was what it'll look like. Can you see it? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. That's super cool. And this is what it'll look like. <laughs> that's so I'll creative. Turn it, yeah, turn it this way so they can see the. And then I have snow, and I'll put that in there. Oh, there is some snow in there. That's <laughs> yeah. so cool. I love that. And that's what it's going to look like. And then the others will be Christmas trees. And I think I have a, a scene with deer coming. Very cool. Also. And that's what I'm working on right now in here. Okay. This is my craft room. As you can see, this is all my craft paper that I make my cards with. I do three dimension cards. Do you have any that you can show us that are all I do, made? and I, it's in the closet there. I'll show oh, okay. you. Here's the kind of uh, flowers I make. Oh, you make them? I make these. Wow. These are flowers made out of paper that I put on cards. Wow, those are beautiful. You it, make those from scratch? I do. This is all paper. Wow. Cut out. And then I put them together. They're they're all like this, cut cut. And then I have uh they're all die cut. And then I have and then I put them through this machine. And then it curls them like this. And then I can put them together. And that's what makes them kind of crinkly. And then I put them together. And make the flowers. They're all kind of, they come out of the machine looking kind of like this. Very cool. If you can see them, here's a leaf. You can see them. Yeah. And then I put them together like this. That is super cool. Make a flower. How creative you are. And put them on a card. And so I, but I don't always use those. I also use bought, uh, purchased flowers. Now let me see if I can pull my cards down that I have some made here. I think I have some up here. Oh! Things have fallen. I think I have some cards in here. Yeah, something just fell from the other shelf. Oh, well. No big deal. Okay. Close as it's no big deal. <laughs> I will. Here's, here's one that I've made. Oh, it's a birthday card. I want to put these in the light so it's better. It's a sweet life. It's beautiful. Life is a lot like you. Oh, with your handmade flowers. Those are beautiful. Yeah. I always do the inside of the card as well. Wow. And you can make these cards also custom, right? Yes, I can. Because I, I know have... my mom has gotten a few cards from you. Yes. 
and here's another one I colored that I have a die Aww. I have a stamp that and that was for my granddaughter oh that's so pretty so you um, if somebody wanted a, a card from you they could basically ask you to customize it based on the person that they're ordering a card for yes they could now here's another one let me just show you it's a little different let me take the name mm -hmm. off that's so cute and here's a guy's card I love how they all are so unique and none of them look the same no no card. I've never made two cards alike. Here's a guy's card. That is super cool. And here's a little girl's card. Great granddaughter. How cute. Here's a little girl's card. And then here's another card. Here's the homemade flowers. Flowers are just so beautiful. Oh, 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 dropping cards. This is Josie's. <laughs> Love that. It's so pretty. So, Those are beautiful. So. You're quite the crafter, Chloe. <laughs> I gotta say. So there you go. <laughs> So is there anything else that you have that you want to share with the people or is that, I think that's pretty is that the much, gist of it all? <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> and okay, so you have a show coming up on what day? Uh, the show is the first weekend of November. Okay. Which I think is the second, third and fourth. Okay. Of November. And you'll be selling all your fall and Christmas stuff there. Yes. And people can also order cards from you there if they want, right? They can order them. Uh, there won't be any on display. I used to put them in there, but they never sold. So I uh, stopped okay. putting them in there. Okay. <coughs> and, and, then, and so we'll also, um, anyone who's watching, you can look down below for close information. And we'll also include it in the video uh, that they can come see you at your craft show or get in touch with you with your business card info you're going to give me yes. and and buy some stuff from you absolutely awesome well thank you so much for your time today i'm oh, so I grateful you let us in your home thank you so much for coming it was an honor have I... a beautiful day and good luck at your show thank you <laughs> okay thank you for coming yeah Thanks so much to Chloe for letting us in her home and showing us all her beautiful crafts and make sure that you check out her stuff and thanks for tuning in for our first episode of Neighbors in the Park. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.